Good afternoon YouTube, it is a stinking warm hot day in uh, summer down here in Tasmania, a whole lot of about 28 degrees Celsius, but the sun feels like you're on fire. We have got a package from a subscriber, now one of my subscribers reached out to me and said hey mate, I've got a uh, 7S Arduino BMS system I'm working on, would you be interested in taking a look? Obviously I was, here it is. There's a post office box if you want to ever send me anything. Even things to pull apart on camera or whatever. Feel free. I uh, enjoy getting parcels and I love pulling stuff apart. Let's have a look inside. Now, he gave me a few options and I requested some nice long cables for this one. Which he has provided or pre-made. There's my 7 inch balance cable. Nice and nice and long. Oh, pre-tinned ends. Spoilt. Absolutely spoiled. So that's the meter long one. Whole meter of BMS cables, so you can have your pack pretty large and spread out. Okay, we got some boards here. Very well packed, Paul. Thank you so much. Here's our Arduino board. Yep. Communication port and power. It's got a buzzer. And we've got a cord to plug into the other. There's a couple of powers that he's labelled there for me. He sent me sent me all the specs via uh, email of what to do with the thing. It says our Arduino board is included a cable. Stuff some foam in there for good measure to make sure it made the journey nice and safe. Alright, this is a relay control board which the Arduino controls just in case you're over discharge or you're overcharging or whatever your BMS it can uh, switch either way. So Paul's hand made this which is cool. We've got a couple of 8 amp relays. 8 amp at 250 volt. I'm not sure what they are at 12 volt DC. I will confirm. He sent me a little baby volt gauge as well. So I'm going to say we control our relays off this one. So it's a BMS shield. Um, what that allows you to do, it's been paralleled from 14S, 14S BMS down to 7 I'm assuming, which, um, which would allow it, a f I'm going to say probably the, a faster balancing, maybe, I'm not sure if it's an active balancer, we'll do some more research on that, um, I'm going to read through all the, print out the documents and read through all of those that Paul sent me but this little beast is going to go on a hot hot swappable I've got to order a bunch more of these um, and a 650 cell holder so it's going to be a little while until I get them sadly I'll get them as quick as I can but um, we're going to make probably 20 of these in parallel and then 7 in series so we're going to make a fairly decent 7S power wall with this uh, Arduino shield uh, we can use these relays to trigger bigger ones if need be, um, which will probably end up being the case, but that trigger signal off these will be, oh, we won't actually use these to trigger the other one, we just use the trigger that triggers these ones currently. That will actually allow me to control an inverter or whatever. I'm going to get a 500 watt pure sine wave 24 volt inverter off uh, Solar Tasmania for this little project so that we can uh, use some of these glorious 18650s I've got laying around. I advertised them for sale um, a few months back and just 
lots of people stuffing me around and not not getting back to me or one lady thought they were lipsticks like yeah I've had a bit of a had a bit of a battle selling them so I've got four or five of these already so I'll put them all with this box thank you Paul for sending me this I can't wait to set it up and actually test it all out it's going to be really cool um, it just gives you that added safety knowing that something's looking after your power wall I know there's bay trims and things like that out there but um, I'm not really looking to spend that much money, time or effort into building my power wall at this stage um, I'd, if you haven't seen I've got about 20 kilowatt hour of gel cells for uh, the measly sum of about $500 which is basically their scrap value so uh, not super not super uh, in need of a power solution at the moment but between now and winter I'm going to build one it's January in Australia now but I will build one before winter this will be built well before winter and we can always expand on this system um, just so that we've got that extra storage um, I'm essentially going to be just wearing out the gel batteries um, because they're well, all batteries are consumable but they're um, they're a very cheap battery consumable so there's no there's no uh, real upset feelings because they're uh, getting used um, long and short of it is power from the sun the more I use from the uh, grid in the, off the battery bank in the shed here the less I use off the grid saving me money so I've got a little pool pump and things like that running off the solar at the moment batteries are all but full so what we'll also be able to do then is tap a separate charge controller off the existing um, incoming and the 12 volt pack can be charged and what happens like now is uh, when it starts getting full well, you can't see the charge controller but I'm looking at it charge controller is sitting at 34 volts so we can easily charge a 27 volt uh, 7S pack happy days so we've got even now we're not capturing all the energy we could be capturing and that's with the 20 kilowatt bank. I'm not using enough power out of it. I need to use more. Which means I need more storage. Thanks heaps for watching. Catch us in the next video. There'll be more updates on this beast. Thank you, Paul. Catch us soon.